Yes, there's a reason why I'm wearing these dorky glasses. It's solar eclipse time, and I bet you'd like to get some great photos of the eclipse with your phone. I can help. Stay tuned. For some logistics, the solar eclipse is that magical day when the moon passes briefly between the sun and the earth, transforming us instantly from daylight to nightfall and back to daylight again, all within a breathtaking three to four minutes. The last one was in 2017. The next one is right around the corner in 2044. The new one is going to begin in Mexico and roll through the San Antonio area around 12.14 p.m. local time and continue through Dallas, Shreveport, Memphis, St. Louis, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Columbus before ending around Hilton, Maine, which is way north of Bangor and near the Canadian border, uh, just around 3 p.m. Many of you are hoping to get great shots on your smartphone, and I think you can do it. Everything, of course, but a killer close-up of the sun being hidden by the moon. Okay, like the great ones that NASA takes. For that, you're gonna need a really big camera with a mega zoom lens, or even better, have one connected to a telescope. However, that said, you have so many great smartphone tricks at your disposal, you should be able to get some really great stuff. Now, what you're gonna need? Special glasses to view the eclipse. They cost around $5. You're also gonna need a solar filter, even for your phone. These are very cheap. They're also around five bucks. You can tape it over your lens, just like this. Just put some tape around it. You're gonna need a tripod if you're gonna make a video, and you should. You're gonna need a phone with a good zoom. The best choices are the iPhone 15 or Google Pixel 8 Pro, which have a five times telephoto, or the Samsung Galaxy S21, S22, or S23 models, which have a 10 times zoom. Now, please don't pinch and zoom to get closer. Samsung's marketing claims that you can use digital zoom to go to 100 times for an ultra close-up, but the results are crappy. Samsung and Apple digital zoom produces very poor pixelated images that are just image crops, and you'll only be disappointed. Practice finding the sun before the eclipse with the filter. The filter is very dark. It's going to take some trial and error, just like sort of like get the phone right over the sun and you'll be able to see where it is and make sure that you'll be on telephoto. The money shot is of the eclipse sun itself, although let's face it, your shot is going to be very small compared to NASA's or somebody shooting through a telescope. The fun stuff is everything else because you never know what's going to happen during an eclipse. People get very excited. During the last eclipse, which I had the honor of covering, I met a guy who had gotten down on his knees during totality to propose to his future wife. Now, that was fun. In other words, keep your filtered eyes open and get as much local color as you can. A shot of a crowd all looking at the skies with their glasses on is always fantastic, and you can nab it easily without the filter over your lens. Just be sure to have your glasses on when you snap it. If it was me, I'd be running a video the entire time, either in regular speed or as a time lapse showing the world changing on a dime. That can show way more than a smartphone shot of the sun from really far away, and they're really easy to share on social media. Now, I shot a time lapse of the last eclipse on a camera whose quality is way better today than it was then. I used a GoPro. Current model is the Hero 12. Back then, I used the Hero 6. They started getting really good around the Hero 9. But still, I'm sure you agree that I was on to something. It's fun seeing the shift, isn't it? Again, try to practice some of this before the eclipse because <clears throat> you're not going to get another chance to try it again the next day. In fact, you're going to have to wait for 2044, August 23rd to be exact, and the location is Banff, Canada. See you there, right? I'm Jefferson Graham. Stay tuned for more Photo Walks TV, photo tips, and travel adventures. And I'll look forward to seeing y'all on the next Photo Walk.